Hi everyone, it's me, Beauty Kelly Sunflower. So I thought I'd hop on today to do an unboxing and a first impression um, of the, the Guardian of the Night Tarot and it's by um, MJ Poulain. So, um, without darkness there is no light. From the creator of the Crow Tarot, this richly illustrated 78 card tarot deck and guidebook are reminders that there is always light to be found, even on the darkest of nights. Discover a vast mesure of animals' energy to guide you on your journey through the toughest times and discover wisdom and insight into these moments. This tarot deck is not a tool to banish the darkness, but an invitation to dream the divine dreams that emerge from the night and to find beauty wherever you are on your path. The wise creatures of this deck walk beside you and offer their invitation gifts of wisdom and inspiration to your readings as the shining moon and flickering fireflies illuminate your path through the forest. So um, I also bought a separate guidebook um, for this deck some time ago. It was going for about £3, I think it was £3.25 on Amazon. I bent it a bit. But it says here that it comes with a guidebook. So maybe this one's a more um, in-depth one. So let's have a look at the guidebook first that I got. I got. Um, it is... Um, the numbers in this guidebook aren't actually um, numbered. But let's just see what it says. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if we were not blamed by sadness. It is far better to take things as they come along with patience and ecumenity, and that's by Carl Jong. So this looks like it's got black and white images. Um, this book was published in 2020. Um, it talks about how to prepare yourself for the deck. got about single um card yes no and maybe um so yes according to this book is the fool the magician the empress the chariot strength star the sun and the world and it tells you what wands cups swords and pentacles are so i guess if you're doing like a one card pull and it's a yes no answer that's what these um cards mean according to the author and it tells you what the no cards are. So some of these are the Emperor, Hierophant, Hangman, Death. That's interesting because I thought the Hangman would be a maybe. Um, the Devil, the Tower, Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, Five of Cups. And then it also breaks it down to the suits. And then maybe is the High Priestess, Lovers, Hermit and the Will of Fortune, Justice, Temperance, the Moon and Judgment. And then again it gives you the minor arcana that are maybe. It kind of gives you like single card advice, some spreads here, um, questions to ask the major arcana. And when it goes into each card, so it, um, it, this gives you um, additional meaning, animal keywords. Does that for each of the each of the suits? There's no pictures in this deck, and it looks like it could be a continuation of the book in the pack I was, at the back it's got like a quick um reference guide so it talks about the elements of for example fire the qualities are hot dry masculine summer um and it talks about what cards represent the fire so it, um so this could be the major arcana i think let me see so it says the emperor strength will of fortune temperance the tower sun and judgment and all the suit of wands and talks about the positive attributes that's, um, that could be the outright meanings and then the negative at, um, attributes as well it does that for each of the suits and at the back here it's got thank you for indiegogo backers so this must have been an indiegogo deck at some point which is listed all the backers in this deck which is quite nice so this is the additional guidebook let's have a look at the guidebook that comes with this deck because this is a mass produced deck so i'm assuming that that's the guidebook for the indie deck. So let's get my knife. A 
Okay, so it comes up with one of these lift up boxes and it's got the part for your thumb to lift it off. So you get the, the guidebook and the cards. Let me have a look at this one to see if it's any different from the one that I've just showed you. This one, it gives you the um, the contents, how to prepare your deck, the, the card spreads, major arcana, minor arcana, and about the author. And it gives, gives you a little introduction there. It tells you how to prepare your cards. Card spreads, it's the same as the, the, the other book, the previous book, yes, no, maybe. And it, again, it gives you the, the card single card advice questions from so it's, it's quite similar but it looks like the, the other book is more in depth and again there's it's just, it just tells you um the archetype the number and it gives you brief meanings and it talks about the um the spirit animal but there's no pictures this is not a pictorial book or guidebook so um it's just very similar to the one that i've just shown you um, let me just see. But at the back, um, it doesn't it doesn't um, give tribute to the Indiegogo backers. It just talks more about the author. But it's a it's a okay little guidebook. How many work pages does it have? Um, one hundred and sixty three pages. And the other book that I've got, this one, the, the pages are not numbered. Okay, so let's have a look at the cards. So these are the backs of the cards that are quite nice. This one's got like a little thing on it. Let's compare size. So this is my Abarian and Weight Tarot deck, which is the size of a regular RWS card. And these cards are slightly bigger. I would say these are more like Oracle cards. They're kind of like got a matte kind of paperish feel. Um, I don't think the cards backs, oh, they could be reversible or yeah, I think they are reversible, the backs. So let's have a flip through of the cards. So this deck is animal based.
upside down. Okay, so let's give these cards a shuffle and um, see how they shuffle. They, they feel very paperish. I don't know if this is a Hay House publication, I didn't really look. They shuffle all right. Um, I don't know how a riffle shuffler would find these cards. I just want to see who published this deck and whether it is Hay House, because I've got that paperish um, kind of feel. Yeah, it's a Hay House publication. So what do I think of this deck on first impressions? I like the um, the archetypes, but to be quite honest, I don't have match animal decks. Um, I can see elements of Rider Waite Smith in um, this deck, but the animals are quite prominent, and I think that I'm going to actually read the mini guidebook from cover to cover. I mean, I know this is a, ours is supposed to be wise and stuff like that, but I I need to see how the actual actual animals depicted. Um, relate to the the archetype, so I'd like to know how. I don't know if this is a rat or a mouse. How that would relate to the archetype of the hierophant, and how the crayfish relates to the archetype of the lovers, sort of thing. But um, aesthetically, it's beautiful. But I think, to me personally, to be able to read this deck um, fluently, I think you need to know a bit about the animals depicted in the deck, and how. They relate to the archetype so i'm gonna um sit before read the guidebook and see how i go um i'll probably start working with it this week or so um i will leave a link to this deck um in the description bar thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye for now